But if there was something you couldn't find on the north side, all you would need to do is take a short walk, drive, streetcar, or bus ride a couple minutes south to downtown Hammond. Take everything you love about a big city, the Chicago Loop, Midtown Manhattan, and shrink it down to an area no more than eight-tenths of a square mile. Whatever you needed, whatever you wanted, however you wanted to spend your time, you would find it in downtown Hammond. Oh, Hammond was thriving, thriving. You could barely move around the streets. Downtown Hammond was a hub of Northwest Indiana culture, and some very famous people have traveled through its streets. Actor Paul Newman came to downtown Hammond to stump for Senator Robert Kennedy in 1968, with the presidential candidate coming right down Holman Avenue to greet supporters. Aerosmith, Rush, Kiss, Sonny and Cher, and the Dave Clark Five are just a few of the world-famous musical acts that performed in the downtown's palatial theaters. For those who grew up in Hammond over the decades, the names of the locations still hold something dear. Well, and everything was concentrated in downtown Hammond. And the sidewalk sale days, the sidewalks were so crowded you could hardly find the sidewalk. There were so many people. You couldn't even cross the street. It was so busy. J.C. Penney's. Rothschild and Hirsch clothing store. The four dime stores. Woolworths, Grants, Kresge's, Newberry's, Jack Fox, Brejo's Coffee Shop, Millikan's, Rosalie, Magdamans, the Indiana Hotel, the Holman Theater, the Orpheum Theater, the Saint Theater, Paramount Theater, Paramount Theaters, the Paramount, the Parthenon, the EC Minus, Minus, shopping at Minus, they had the best crystal, they had the best bed linens and the crown jewel of the entire district. There was no place like Goldblatt's. 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 Everybody loved Goldblatt's. Not including the basement, Goldblatt's was four stories tall, an entire block in length, and was built strong enough for two additional stories that were never constructed. Goldblatt's was to Hammond what Marshall Fields was to Chicago, and what Macy's was to New York. It was the second largest retail department store in the entire state of Indiana. Calumet Region historian Lance Trusty referred to Goldblatt's as the very heart and soul of Old Hammond. 